Hey guys, welcome to Matt Gourmet Kitchen. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make your own sorrel puree. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and also click that notification bell to get notified when I upload my videos. All that I'll be using for this sorrel puree will be down in the description box so you guys can just go there and check it out. Javi Beats exclusive. what you need to make that sorrel puree. I'll be using two packs of dry sorrel petal in each pack for 100 grams and also we need two cinnamon sticks. So then make yourself a medium sized pot like this with about two cups of water in it. Also your fire is supposed to be on medium heat. This guys, now I'm just gonna rinse my sorrel underneath the pipe. I'm just gonna rinse it under some cold water and start to put it in. cinnamon stick in here I'm going to start with putting my sour petals Now guys, we're just going to leave this to come to a boil and I'll get right back to you it's all boiled up. Now here you have it. My sword is come to a boil. Now I'm just gonna turn this off now. And cover it up, chop all of that steam in there. And leave it to cool for about two to three hours. Guys, if your pot have a hole like this, like my one that let all the steam, you wanna go ahead and cover it up and chop all of that steam in there. Just leave it to cool for about two to three hours and I'll get right back to you. Now here you have it, after that two hours, my sorrel is all cool, yes guys, my petals are all soft and nice, look at that guys, and also the liquid is wonderful, yes guys, I'm just going to go ahead and remove my cinnamon sticks from it. guys you want to go ahead and get yourself a blender if you don't have a blender you can use your food processor to blend up this sorrel petals yes guys and also you want to make sure when you boil your sorrel you boil it in a, in a stainless steel pot not aluminum pot guys it's not good to boil your sorrel in aluminum pot make sure it's a stainless steel pot guys yes. i'm just going to go ahead and add my sorrel in So I'm going to go ahead for about two to three minutes. You want to make sure you properly blend this, guys. A little smooth. You don't want no lump in it. Yes, guys, I'll get right back to you when I'm finished blending up this soil. Yes, guys. Now, there you have it, guys. For that two to three minutes of blending. Yes, guys. So you want your puree to look like guys all smooth like a smoothie this guy's all smooth and nice look at that guys the texture is wonderful it's smelling so nice yes guys now you just want to go ahead and get yourself a container with a cover on it where you're going to store it in yes guys i'm just going to scrape this out into this container and then continue to blend the rest of what i have in my pot here Ready for my 
Christmas. Sorry, okay, guys. This pure is looking nice. Guys, you want to make sure you get those red, dark red. Sorry to make that sorry cake. Yes, guys, look at that. No lump, looking wonderful. I'm just going to put this over here. I'm just going to add the rest in. Yes, guys. I'll get right back to you guys when I'm finished blending up this second batch of these sorry petals. Yes, guys. This is how you want to make that lovely sorry puree. I'm going to get right back to you guys. And there you have it, guys. I've finished blending up my second batch of my sorry petals. Look at that, guys. Look at smooth and lovely guys, like a smoothie as I was saying. Now I'm just gonna scrape this out now. So I just place in with the rest of my sorry this guys. So you wanna make that sorry puree guys for your sorry cake. Guys you can look out for that video soon. So my sorry cake video is on the way. You can also look out for that video. There you have it. So you want to blend up your sorry petals to make that lovely sorry puree. Yes, guys. That's what I'm telling about. Thanks for watching my Bowman Kitchen. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Guys, if you're not subscribed, please just go ahead and click that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel to get more videos when I upload them. And also click that notification bell and all. Yes, guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.